A man convicted of a heinous crime has received the maximum penalty, lethal injection. Taken to the execution chamber, he's secured to a gurney with intravenous lines inserted into his arms. The first drug administered is pentobarbital, a barbiturate sedative. As it enters the bloodstream, it acts on neurotransmitters in the brain, slowing down communication between brain cells. This impairs the brain's control over the respiratory and cardiovascular systems, leading to a decrease in breathing and heart rate. He starts to feel drowsy. He becomes confused, and consciousness starts to fade away. The second drug, pancuronium bromide, is a paralytic agent. It immediately starts to block acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction, preventing nerve impulses from reaching the muscles. This results in complete paralysis of all skeletal muscles, including those responsible for breathing, such as the diaphragm and intercostal muscles. The chest becomes immobile and can no longer draw breath, leading to respiratory arrest. The final drug administered is potassium chloride. As it courses into the bloodstream, the body goes into cardiac arrest. The body's delicate electrochemical balance is thrown into disarray. The precise ratio of potassium and sodium ions that govern the heart's electrical signals and rhythmic contractions is disrupted. This disruption sends the heart spiraling into a chaotic abnormal rhythm known as arrhythmia. With the heart's vital pumping action halted, the circulatory system grinds to a stop. Oxygenated blood can no longer be distributed throughout the body. All organs are now cut off from their vital supply of oxygen and nutrients. The brain, already starved of oxygen from respiratory failure, quickly succumbs to catastrophic irreversible damage. The heart stops within about a minute of the potassium chloride injection.